Hello everyone, it's Prajal Patek this side and you're watching my YouTube channel Pyboy. Friends, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I build a game using Python in 48 hours. Okay, so for this, I use the Pygame library. But before moving to this video, I would like to announce that now you can join me as a member of this channel. Okay, so since YouTube is not supporting me, I hope he will support me. So join me as a member of this channel. Okay, uh, okay so let's get started with this video. Now, uh, I was building this game for a game jam, but I couldn't uh, submit it uh, since the time limit was 36 hours and I successfully failed to complete the game in 36 hours. Okay, so it took me more time uh, than the time limit and I couldn't submit the game. So this was my entire game. I will run it in a minute. Uh, okay, so let me, uh, before uh, display, showing this game, uh, I would like to tell how I created this game. Okay, so the so first of all, the source code for this game is available on my GitHub page. Uh, the link is in the video description. You can just go there and download it from there okay, and then play it uh, along with all the source code. Now see here, what I did, I tried to uh, create uh, everything as a separate entity. Okay, I created everything as a separate file here. You can see there's a file for button, enemies, level editor, main, particle, player, projectiles, text, wall, so I tried to create everything as a separate entity and then merge them all in the main.py file, okay, something like this. So this is going to help me in my next game gems. I, I do not have to write entire game from scratch, okay, since now I have the files. So you can just copy this code from, for your game gems too, okay. And so first of all that uh, I needed for the building this game was the tile sets. Now if you uh, are looking for tile sets, I would like to tell you about the itch.io. Okay, uh, it's basically a website which uh, provides you free game assets which you can download like tile sets, uh, audio, and menus, buttons, and a lot more things. Okay, uh, but since I am only I only know 2D game development, so I was looking for 2D tile sets. So see here, there are a lot of free tile sets that you can use for your game, and I use this one, this particular tile set for my game. Uh, if you just click it, uh, you will reach to this page. And you can download it from here, okay? It's for free, yeah, you do not have to pay any money. Uh, the once you uh, download it, you have to uh, extract it, okay? After extracting, you will get uh, four files like this. So, the here is a uh, tile sets. Uh, now, this is a 16 by 16 tile set. So, the first thing that I needed to do was separate the tile sets, okay? You can see all these tile sets are currently merged in one file. So, for this, I went to this particular website. Uh, which is easygif.com or a sprite cutter okay basically you can use any sprite cutter website or tool here i uploaded my file and cut my uh, tile sets in 16 by 16 okay you can just visit this website if you are looking for a tile cutter now once you cut your tile set you will get uh, your tiles like this okay uh, all these tiles will now be separated in a 16 by 16 uh, image so once my tile set was created the next thing that i needed to do was to build a level editor now, I didn't know how to build a level editor, uh, but for that, a uh, YouTube channel I found helpful was coding with Rust. Okay, I'll give that uh, video link in the video description. You can just check that particular video to how to build a level editor. And here I uh, created my own level editor for this game. So let me just run it and show you. So this was my level editor. There are a few levels for this I have designed for this game. For example, if I load level 1, so this is the level 1. You can edit uh, the levels here as per your choice. For example, Let's say if I want to create a wall here, I have to just select the tile and then just I can do this and I can create a wall here, okay? something like this. So uh, if you're looking uh, to uh, how to build a tile uh, or a level editor, you can just visit that video, give a view to this and you will fi uh, find this that video helpful. Okay? So this is how you can create your own levels if you want. So once the level was designed, the next thing was uh, I had to create a player. So here is the player class. Now player class is basically in my game, there's a ghost and its objective is to kill all other ghosts and to reach to the end of all the levels to win the game. Okay, so this is the basic simple idea that I implemented here. So this is my player class and basically it has a lot of, uh, it works with a lot of images. For example, there are idle images, walking images, walk right images, walk left images, attack images, death images, hit images. Okay, because all these are animations that I have to show in my uh, game okay so as you can see uh, if i go here and inside ghost folder you will see there are a lot of images here okay so this is the enemy images and these are the player images so again these are uh, 16 by 16 images uh, so i have to scale them 
to 24 by 24 as my player was looking a little smaller in front of my world okay so first of all i loaded all these images in this list and then i created few variables to for moving them right left and make it jump there is also a concept of gravity which helps the player to jump correctly okay then there is collision detection in this uh, for a player okay this is this method handles the collision detection and there is the animation uh, animation method which help us to animate the players okay so you can just copy this if you are building any game okay all you have to do is you have to put images here and it will automatically do all the things for you okay you do not have to code anything then there's update method if there's a left you have to subtract x if you uh, right key is pressed you have to add something to your x and then there's a function for jump which uses f equals half mv square formula to make the for uh, player jump okay. so once my player was created the next thing i had needed to do was to create the world again i created another class okay uh, which uh, cares for which uh, generates the world for us okay based on the level editor now this level editor stores the game data in a file okay so once the file was created uh, it only stores numbers like 1 2 3 4 uh, up to the total number of tiles okay so the thing that we have to do was to generate it into a world so this world class help us to generate data based on that okay then there are some other files like particles it helps in to keep it helps us to keep track of particles or the like trails uh, this is used for the ghost and then there are explosion particles okay uh, like uh, when a grenade is thrown there's an explosion then there are project projectiles uh, here inside my game there are only two projectiles a bullet and a grenade so here's a code for bullet and a grenade okay then there are enemies and enemies have a separate file too okay so yeah this was pretty all for this game finally i put them all in my main.py file and created a uh, few groups to keep all uh, things in like trail group bullet group grenade group explosion group okay so they keep track of all the entries that i have in my game finally <clears throat> there are event handlings and buttons menus all of these are handled by my main.py file okay so this covers pretty much all of the things now there are few more things that you might want for your games like sounds so for sounds if you're looking for sounds you can visit this website freesound.org it works free sounds for us okay then there are uh, if you need fonts you can visit this uh, website fontspace.com okay uh, so yes this is pretty it now let me just run this game and show you okay
Bye. <laughs> 